Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable real-time web search in OpenWeb UI. Now, the reason why we'd want to do that is imagine that you had to ask your model something like, what is, what's the news summary for today? Well, it says that it doesn't have real-time access to current news and events because its training data only goes up to December 2023. So how do we enable real-time web search from, for your models so that it can actually go out and pull the relevant information? To do that, we'll first go over to our admin panel under settings and then click on web search. Now, there are a couple of options that we have available here. So we have the Gina, the DuckDuckGo. The one that I'm going to use is Google PSC. I've tried a couple of those other options. Nothing really compares to Google. So how do we get this API key and Google PSC engine ID? To do that, what you would first have to do is, I guess, go to Google and search for programma pro programmable search engine. So, or you can just type in PSE. It's going to take you to this page right here. Now, I'm going to select Get Started, and I'm going to add a new one. Let's call this Open Web UI. That's the name of my search engine. I'm going to say that I can search the entire web and that I'm not a robot. I don't need to enable image search or safe search. Once I do that, I can customize it. So first I have the search engine ID. Let me copy this and paste the search engine ID. Once that's done, you would then go over to, you don't need to enable any of these options. You can pretty much scroll down to custom search JSON API. If I select get started, I can select get a key and call this my project. When I accept the terms and conditions, when I select next, it's going to give me an API key. Now, obviously I'm going to be cutting that, that part out from the video, but when you get that API key, all you would do is just simply copy that key. Once you've copied the key, you will simply paste the API key here and then hit save. Once the settings are saved successfully, I can go back to my chat. And here I'm going to select the plus icon, enable the web search. And since web search is enabled, I can ask simply weather in New York. And you can see that it's searching the for the weather in New York City today. And it's looking for this information from a couple of websites. It's going to get some information and then it's going to summarize it. So it says that based on the information, it looks like there's expected to be around 45 degrees, while in Manhattan it's expected to be 44 degrees. If you click on one, some of these links, it will even show you from where it's getting this information from. So here we can see that it does say that it is 45 degrees currently in New York City. So that is how you can enable real-time search on Open Web UI. If you wanted to, you could even change some of these settings. Go over to your admin panel under settings and web search. The search result count right now is set to three, but if you wanted to search through more websites, maybe you want it to research maybe five or 10 websites, you can always increase this number. If you wanted to uh, try different languages, you could do that as well. Um, but basically the most important thing to note is that you want to enable the web search because if the web search is not enabled, it's not going to be able to search for this information in real time. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. And uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I'll make sure it gets addressed. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.